Hi guys, sorry it's been a while since me and Ryan have last uploaded, I think we missed just Saturday last week, but it's just been mega mega crazy at the moment and as we both work full time, it's sometimes hard to sort of get the videos filmed etc, especially this time of year like coming up to Christmas in retail, it's just go go go, so potentially there might be a few other days that we aren't able to upload on just because of work and I'm going to be starting some 4am shifts and Ryan's still going to be you know, doing evenings so there's probably not going to be a lot of times where we're able to just sit down together and film but hopefully it will all be back to normal just after Christmas. So really what this video is going to be, it's just going to be you know, just a little update on how we're doing the wedding and a bit about how I'm feeling like the last video but not you know, exclusively about it. So I guess to start with is that I've sorted the ring out. Well, I say I've sorted it out, I, I've had to, well I haven't had to, but I've decided to chose, I can't even speak, I've decided to choose a different style of ring completely just because the ring that I chose originally, it, it got sent off to be resized when it came back, some of the tiny diamonds were missing, so I said, you know, you know, it's not good condition, can you send it back, sent it back, got it fixed, came back, there was still a diamond missing, and I said, you know, this is the second time this has happened with this ring. I don't feel comfortable to have it as my wedding ring, so I've just gone for a completely different style. So, I found the ring, and it was actually cheaper as well, so it saved a bit of money, so that's good. But, um, it's actually arrived back in store now, because I had to send it off to be resized. And I went into town today, but I forgot the flipping receipt, so I wasn't able to pick it up. So hopefully, when I go and get it later this week, it will fit, it will be, all good in the hood and then I can just store it for now. So that's the ring sorted. Um, I don't know if I've let you know but um, the bridesmaids bouquets have arrived. I've decided to go for artificial flowers just because real flowers are very very costly and expensive and we're just trying to save in little areas like that just so that we can actually afford the wedding and afford to move out after as well. So my theme is Gypsophilia and I've just got some silk ones and they're really really nice. My bouquet, I'm having a mixture of white Gypsophilia and white roses, again artificial. And the ones for the bridesmaids, I got those from eBay, which some people might think, mm, eBay, but honestly you can get some really good stuff and I think it was like 99p a bunch and I think I needed three bunches per bouquet for bridesmaids, so that was great. And when you've got seven bridesmaids, you want to try and keep the cost down as much as possible. So yeah, mine, my main bouquet is the White Roses. I actually got that from the range. I don't know if any of you have been. It's sort of like, it. well, when I first walked in, it smelled like a garden centre or like a B&Q, that type of thing. But it's actually got a lot of like homeware and stuff like that. It does have a garden sort of bit but it's not like they don't really sell plants they sell sort of like statues and ornaments and like that so I got mine from there and that was $3.99 I could not believe it and my bouquet is actually foam and I just think it's amazing for four quid I've got a bouquet and um, it does look and I think because I've gone for roses it looks more real to have it as foam because some silk can be too shiny and it doesn't you know really give good effect but I'm also going to get some more of the gypsophilia and add that to my bouquet and the boys I got their buttonholes as well and they're just having white roses so in my bouquet I'm incorporating sort of both sides the bridesmaids and the ushers so yeah and I think I managed to get 12 buttonholes for two quid two quid I mean you can't go wrong for that so all I've got to do is just buy some nice pins and to pin them on. Maybe I think because my bouquet's got sort of like um, pearl accents on, I'm gonna try and get pins with pearls on so it sort of matches. Also, as you've seen, I've had the bridesmaid dresses arrived. You know, you saw that little unboxing. However, some of the sizes have come up a bit small, so I'm having a bit of a panic about that because I got the dresses from China, and I'm a bit worried that. I'm going to get the next size up and that's still not going to fit and it's 20 quid to send the dresses back and the dresses only cost 26 quid so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and speak to my dressmaker and see if she can do anything with them 
because it's just turned into a bit of a disaster really. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Also, on Sunday, it's only just gone, me and Ryan went to our wedding venue to have a meeting with our wedding coordinator. And they're just sort of seeing how we're doing, if we've got much left to plan, just to get a bit of an idea from us, you know, how many guests we're going to have. And I came away feeling really anxious and nervous and worried and I don't really know why because it can't have been about the money because me and Ryan sat down and worked all our finances out and we're going to be fine. Like, we're gonna, actually going to have some money left over so I can't be freaking out about that. But I think it's because it's actually sinking in like, I'm getting married, this is a really big step. Um, I think in my head for a while I've just been thinking, oh, wedding, wedding, wedding. And I haven't really thought, oh, I'm going to be a wife. So, it was just a couple of days of feeling really unsettled and sick and I don't know. It was just really silly, really, because I know I want to get married and it's what I've wanted for ages. So, we're just getting back into the swing of, you know, doing the final bits and bobs. Uh, we've done our table plan, well, as much as we can because some people still have an RSVP, but we've sorted out the table plan and so far so good. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. What else have we done? Um, yeah, so we also got some more of the table decorations. We got those from the range as well. We've just got to get a few last bits for the candle holders because I've got the candles, got the holders, but I need something to put in the candle holder. And we're also starting to think about wedding flavours as well and what we want with them and where we're going to get them from, that kind of thing. So yeah, everything's going really, really well. It's just hard because obviously Christmas coming up, work's going to be manic and then it feels like just the other side of Christmas is going to be our wedding because we're only going to have three months left and it's going to be here before you know it. Also this week we've managed to book a little mini moon for us because we can't really afford like, you know, the proper big honeymoon. We decided that we're just going to leave that later for later on in the year and we've just decided we're just going to go away for like the weekend just to have some time to ourselves. Uh, we're going away in to Suffolk for three nights in a little, um, I can't remember if it's a bungalow or a cabin, but basically you're just out of the way and you've got your own little jacuzzi, so it should be really nice, just the two of us. So yeah, that's what, what we've been doing. The next video, or I don't know if it's going to be the one after this or the one after that, or whatever, but Ryan said he's going to film a video about how he's feeling on the lead up to the wedding, and he said he's got a few other ideas as well. For videos. Oh, my phone is going off. Um, yeah, so he's got some other ideas for videos. I've got an idea, but we both need to be sitting down together and have lots of time. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get this video thing sorted. If we aren't able to upload every Wednesday and Saturday, I think we're just going to try and aim for at least one video a week just for this period because. I'm not too sure how busy we're going to be just after Christmas, obviously with the wedding planning and looking for somewhere to live. So yeah, sorry about the lack of video on Saturday, but hopefully this video made up for it and it was worth the wait. Speak to you soon. Bye.